Việt Nam Cộng Hòa về bên Việt Nam và con cái của mình sẽ sống như thế nào Việt Nam họ biết như vậy cho nên họ không muốn những những người We want to urge the Trump administration to stop to stop any changes to the agreement that will make pre-1995 immigrants subject to deportation or weaken any humanitarian considerations reflected in the current agreement. So we've been told by the immigration authorities that they plan to deport individuals that have committed a crime or convicted of a crime. And while I am not a pro-crime person, but I also believe that if an individual has committed a crime and have paid their debt to society, they're entitled to a second chance, no matter what ethnicity you are. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of like a sneak attack where you're doing what you're supposed to do every day, go to work, give back, serve your country and everything, and then out of the blue you get an email or a tweet that this is something that they're working on. So it's just, yeah, so it's uh, unbelievable, but we're going we're gonna to stay strong and we're going to continue to make sure that our voice are being heard. Những người Việt Nam bị nạn và đã từng có tiền án về bên Việt Nam. Trong khi cha mẹ thì bận rộn đi làm, không có thời gian cho con cái. No family separation. No deportation. No deportation. No family separation. No family separation. Now there's no deportation. No deportation. No family separation. No family separation. No deportation. No deportation. No family separation. These folks, they, they, they have transformed their lives. I mean, this is applying to people who, um, who have done this, you know, 23 years ago as like a teenager, right? You come My brother is one of those people. And, you know, he went to high school, went to college. He's like, he opened a, a, a pokey restaurant. And, and why, and he has two kids, why? Why send him to, to back to a country that he's never been to? Um, Did he commit a crime? Like, is he at risk? It was it was a very small crime, mm -hmm. um, and and is he at risk? We, we are not we don't know it at this moment. But mm -hmm. he doesn't have his citizenship at this point. These people now have families, have kids, have business, have house have everything here. So why are they a target now for something that they did a long time ago? That's number one. Number two is the wives and the kids are the victim of this administration attack against all immigrants and trying to deport them. Whether the